Hello viewers, today we will discuss the planet Mars. It's one of the planets of solar system. In fiction, Mars is considered as the god of war. The planet was named after Mars, which was the Roman god of war, who was one of the most worshipped and river gods in ancient Rome. In ancient Roman religion and myth, Mars was the god of war and also an agricultural guardian, a combination characteristic of early Rome. He was the son of Jupiter and Juno, and he was the most prominent of the military gods in the religion of the Roman army. Now come to the real life. Information about Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and is commonly referred to as the red planet. The rocks and soil have a red or pink hue due to the iron oxide, that is rust, which they contain. The color of Mars. As it appears from our Earth, the color of Mars is generally a distinct yellow, orange or red with its brightness varying more than any other planet. The actual color of the planet is like butterscotch, as the pictures from various space probes prove, but it mostly appears bright red because of the iron oxide and red dust which is prevalent on the surface as well as its atmosphere. Because of this red hue, it is also known as the red planet. Where is Mars located? Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, situated between Earth and Jupiter. As you can see in the picture, the nearest planet is Mercury, the second one is Venus, the third one is Earth, and the fourth one is Mars. Now let's talk about the seasons on Mars. Like Earth, Mars has seasonal changes, but the seasons last much longer. In winter, Mars' polar ice cap can reach down to 45 degrees latitude and then rapidly shrink during spring. Dust storms are also seasonal on Mars. Here we compare Earth with Mars. Dear viewers, look at column 1. Uh, the words radius, density, gravity, eccentricity, obliquity, distance from sun, diameter, length of year, length of day, temperature, and temperature range. Now look at column 2 and column 3. Column 2 is that of Earth and column 3 is that of Mars. You will find the difference very clearly. Now look at the orbits of Mars and Earth. Now look at this picture. We see one Earth year is 365 days, while one Mars year is 687 Earth days, not the days of Mars. If we talk about the moons, Mars has two moons. Their names are Phobos and Deimos. If we talk about all the planets individually, there is no moon with Mercury and Venus. While with Earth we have one moon, with Mars two moons, and Jupiter has 67 moons, while Saturn has 62 moons. Now this is the telescopic view of Mars. This NASA Hubble Space Telescopic View provides the most detailed complete global coverage of the red planet Mars ever seen from Earth. This picture was taken on 25th February 1995 when Mars was at a distance of 65 million miles. Mars has been explored by several unmanned and uncrewed spacecrafts. The first spacecraft was Mariner 4. Mariner 4 was the first spacecraft to visit Mars, launched by NASA on 28th November 1964. It made its closest approach to the planet on 15th July 1965. Mariner 4 detected the weak Martian radiation belt measured at about 0.1% that of Earth and captured the first images of another planet from deep space. 
the soviet mars 3 mission the soviet mars 3 mission included a lander which achieved a soft landing in december 1971 however the contact was lost seconds after touchdown another spacecraft was named as viking 1 on 20th july 1976 viking 1 performed the first successful landing on the martian surface mars pathfinder mars pathfinder is an american robotic spacecraft that landed a base station with a roving probe on mars in 1997 it consisted of a lander renamed as the carl sagan memorial station and a lightweight wheeled robotic mars rover named sojourner which became the first rover to operate outside the earth moon system its launching date was 4th december 1996 its maximum speed was 26460 kilometers per hour landing date that is 4th july 1997 and mission duration was pathfinder 85 days sojourner 7 days Launch to last contact 9 months 23 days and its cost was 175 175 million US dollars Spirit and Opportunity rovers NASA's Mars Exploration Rover mission was a robotic space mission involving two Mars rovers Spirit and Opportunity exploring the planet Mars it began in 2003 with the launch of the two rovers to explore the Martian surface and geology. Both landed on Mars at separate locations in January 2004. Both these rovers landed on Mars. Spirit operated until 22nd March 2010 and Opportunity rover lasted until 10th June 2018 Curiosity Rover NASA landed its Curiosity Rover on August 6, 2012 as a part of its Mars Science Laboratory MSL mission to investigate Martian climate and geology Mars Arbiter Mission The Mars Arbiter Mission which is also called Mangalyan, is a space probe orbiting Mars since 24th September 2014. It was launched on 5th November 2013 by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Emirates Mars Mission. The United Arab Emirates became the fifth to successfully undertake a mission to Mars, having inserted an orbiter into the Martian atmosphere on 9 February 2021. CNSA's Tianwen-1 lander and Zhu Rong rover. China National Space Administration Tianwen-1 lander and Zhu Rong rover. On 14th May 2021, CNSA's Tianwen-1 lander and Zhu Rong rover successfully landed on Mars. Zhu Rong rover was successfully deployed on 22nd May 2021, which makes China the second country to successfully deploy a rover on Mars after the United States. Perseverance rover. NASA's Perseverance rover along with Ingenuity Mars helicopter successfully landed on Mars on 18th February 2021. This rover will search for past life on Mars and collect soil and rock samples for future when it returns to Earth. Ingenuity is a small robotic helicopter operating on Mars as part of NASA's Mars 2020 mission. On April 19, 2021, it successfully completed the first powered controlled flight 
by an aircraft on a planet besides Earth, taking off vertically, hovering and landing. Now look at the surface of Mars. Mars has a rocky, dry terrain with huge volcanoes and deep valleys. The atmosphere is much thinner than the Earth's and is comprised primarily of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its gravity is about one third of our Earth. Dear viewers, this is the end of the video and in the next video we will discuss the whole solar system. Thank you very much. Goodbye.